we're going to take a look at using an auger to help us plant trees. Now you can plant trees in a fraction of the time when you've got a machine like this to help you dig your holes. So they're fantastic for large holes or if you've got dozens of holes. But they're not for every situation when you've got a machine this big as they can tear up turf, you can sink in. So you kind of got to pick your battles on where you use them. We're also going to take a look at some of the smaller handheld augers and where you can get them. They can be incredibly useful for shrubs or bulbs. Let's go ahead and take a look at a project where we've got a row of Colorado spruce that we're putting in. If you take a look behind me or down the row, we've already dug quite a few holes for some spruce trees that we're planting. One thing you want to make absolutely certain of, if you're using something like this, it's a powerful machine, you have to mark utilities. Make sure there's no gas lines, electric lines, communication lines. That auger is going to slice right through that. Even though that auger is going to speed up your job, it's really easy to go too deep. Now that's something that's going to kill your tree more quickly than a lot of things too deep, especially when we're talking about conifers. I tend to go just a little bit deeper and then I'm going to backfill and then I'm going to tamp it down quite well. We don't want to have that tree do any type of settling after we planted it. Finding that right height can be a little bit of trial and error. The more trees you plant, the better you get at it. Let's go ahead and get this popped out of there. Most container grown nursery stock, you'll see We've got some of that spiral rooting in there. We're gonna go ahead and chop that apart. Encourage those roots to break away. I tend just to use a shovel as kind of a rough measurement. We'll put it add up there and measure where we're at. And then we'll take a look down here. I can tell right now we're about right where we wanna be on this spruce, but we'll tamp that in nice. I don't want that tree to settle. We'll place our tree in the hole, see if we have a comfortable height. Easy just to pop it back out if we gotta change how much soil we have to either put in or take out. Initially, it always seems like it's gonna be way too high, but we're not, we're not. The auger does a nice job. I'm almost pulverizing that soil apart as it brings it out. I'll pull these branches back and you can see our root ball is sitting up about two to three inches higher than our base grade and that's exactly what I was shooting for is just to have that a little bit on the high side. You can bust apart that root system a little bit on top of the root ball and then you'll get a more even transition. Once we get our initial soil moved back into the hole, I like to do a little tamping with the shovel. Doesn't have to be a crazy amount. Once we water these trees, that's also going to settle that soil. And here's another project where we're using an auger to plant these trees in just a fraction of the time it would take to hand dig those holes. These are number 25 pot Redmond Lindens that'll be going in the ground. And that hole, if we had to do a timer on it, you know, probably about 15 seconds to spin down, come across and just pop that soil off. So what a time saver to use the augers. What you have to make sure you factor in is you have to have that hole just a little bit wider than your root ball so you have some maneuvering room to shift the different angle of the tree and depending on your project there are different auger bits that you can use depending on how wide you want to go. We're using one that's 24 inches wide today. Now the 24 inch auger works perfect for those number 25 butt trees and a little bit smaller. If you get into the different bald and burlap trees, they're gonna to have to actually get into an auger size that has a width of probably 36 inches to do the job. Let's quick show you some of the different smaller augers that are available. We're gonna bounce over to AM Leonard, just a great horticultural tool supply company. To get to American Leonard, go ahead and type in at the website amleo.com. Then we're gonna go up to that search bar there. I'm gonna type in auger. That's gonna bring up our first selection of smaller augers. These red ones here, anywhere from like three inches up to eight inches, you actually attach them to a handheld engine. But before we go and look at that, I wanna quick show you just some of the smaller augers you can hook up to a drill. Here's your little one right here. That'll go onto a cordless drill, electric drill, great for planting little small items. Here's another auger, a little specialty one. Go a little bit deeper with this one, but again for bulbs, other small little perennials. Let's go ahead and quick look at the engine. So there you go, this is a power auger, and that's what you hook up those red drill bits we just looked at. Great option if you're constantly digging a lot of small holes. Great investment. That's all we've got on augers for now. Thanks for stopping by Garden Hike, I appreciate it. We'll see you again soon next video.